How's it going? So I'm going to show you how to do this filter. You see you have multi-select. So we are going by the first column, by the first name column. So we want to just Ermin, that's just Ermin, Ermin and Lydia and Jarvis. Okay, so that's, that's the way it works. All right, so let's get started. I will, so you do not, uh, I'm gonna link this repo in the description below. So you have starting code and completed code. So starting code is basically, I use material UI table, right? And that's it. Kind of like it's it's already set up for you, right? It has make sure that it has filtering. I'm assuming that you have already covered my entire course on the tan stack table, right? Otherwise it's just gonna you're gonna get confused. Okay. So what is the most important? There are two steps that make this whole thing work. Number one is in column definition, you need to put filter function, which is called array includes sum. This comes from here. This is default filters. So this is a default filter function. You can create your own one. Um, one second. Okay, so this is on the docs. You see this function here. Um, I think it's include all, right? Include some, my apologies. So you need to set the, 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 the column definition, you need to set the filter function to array include some. Now you can build your own one, but there's really no need to do that because it's already in here. Now, if you want to see what's behind, um, what's the actual code, there it is. I'm gonna link it in the description below so you can kind of copy a version of that yourself. And I'll just get it out of the way that, you know, the, that's the name of the repo where I'm going to be working. So in here, you can just do your uh, table and complete it and starting. Okay. All right. So step number one, you have to set it to array include some, uh, you can experiment with other ones, but that's, that's the ones I went with. Okay. And then the second thing to make it work is you need to put You basically need to put the filter value as an array. Okay, so let's do use effect. I'm just giving you the bare minimum, right? Right now, bare minimum, so you can move on and do your own things. Okay, so table <coughs> set column filters. We want an an array, right? So ID, what, what, what are we picking? We're picking first, where did we put? Uh, first name, okay? So that's gonna be our ID, whoops. And then value, so this value has to be an array when you're using this function here. And that's it, you're pretty much done. It's like super, super easy. So now let's just populate the array. So let's say we want Delhi. Oh, whoops. Uh, I need to swap the component. My apologies. So this is completed. I need starting. Like so. Okay. So now we don't have so let's say, okay, let's say we want Jervis, okay? So we want Jervis, we go to our starting and we put Jervis in here. Whoopsie. We can probably do control, no, it's still formats. Whoops. Like so. What is it complaining about? My apologies. Okay, so you see now we have Jervis. What was the other ones? Okay, we can probably go and get it from data. Okay, so let's go up. 
uh, let's say we want Lionel as well. Basically, whatever you put into this array is going to get included in the filter. So that's your kind of bare minimum. You need to get this thing to work. Oh, there are two Lionel. Okay. But you see what I'm saying is that like uh, that's that's kind of you're kind of done. You just have to create a, a drop down selector that will return an array, uh, which is a controlled input, and then put it in here, and that's it. You're done. Let's do another one. Let's do. So there's this guy here. Let's remove Jervis. So okay. So that's kind of the bare minimum to make this thing working, which is in column definition. Put this thing here. Uh, array includes sum, and then apply the column filter, which is uh, the ID. Which column do you want to apply? Which is this one. And then value should be should be an array with strings to use as a filter, and that's it. If you want to clear filters, you can either uh, put nothing into array or an empty string. It makes no difference. It will clear the filters. You see, and that's it. All right. So now I will go through the whole thing. Let me just make a copy. Starting to complete that. But I mean, do I really need to manually go through this? I mean, it's so, I mean, you have to be experienced enough to understand how to read the code. All right, I'll just go, I'm just gonna explain it, okay. So, I created a drop down, drop down which was material UI. Material UI basic select. Okay, so there's one where there is, I control F, multi select. Yeah, there should be multi select somewhere here. There it is, multi select, you see? So, this thing returns an array. This thing returns an array. Okay, so what did I do? I copy and pasted the whole thing. I only added names. I only changed the names. And that's it. Right, so there it is. There's the array. And I removed some stuff that I don't really need, like styling. I just removed it. Okay, so now you have a input, which is in here. You have your select, which is form control. It's literally copy and paste from here. Like literally, I just took this whole thing, copy and paste it. It complained about, I think it complained about uh, menu props, I just removed. And then I think there was style function. Yeah, get stuff, I just removed that and then that's it. That was it. Everything else is just copy and paste. Then handle change function, again, copy and paste. So now you have a controlled state which is an array of strings and it selects one of those three and it just populates the array with whatever name you want and then you take since it's an array table set column filters to this thing and that's it you're done not really difficult and that's that's about it now, obviously, if you want this to be uh, every single name, including typing, you probably want to... But, I mean, guys, it's standard JavaScript. I mean, just take the API data. Um, it's like standard JavaScript stuff. It's probably going to be API data. We probably want the memo data, right? Oh, 
Oh my god, we probably need to do... It's just extra, it's, it's up to you, I mean the, the tutorial is just finished, I'm just kind of probably... Maybe, potentially, doing a bit of time waste, but okay, I'll just show you how to do it, it's like super easy. Okay, so there's gonna be data memoed. Technically, this should be like this, but for this tutorial, it doesn't matter. Really. Okay, so we want we want return API data dot filter no not filter dot map and then element any and we want to return only. The first name, right? We just want to return the first name. It's going to be element dot first name, and that's about it. I mean, we probably don't need it anymore. So now you're going to have a list of every single name, which is in there. La 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 la. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in the description below as well. So you have this as well. Honestly, I'm probably just trolling at this stage, but let me just see what what, what is he complaining about. But I think I already covered this, huh? Basic table com names dot map. Oh, yeah, 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 that's because I need memo. That's why. That's because I need... Uh... Huh, interesting. Why it's complaining. So now we have every single... Oh, there are duplicates. It's just complaining that there are... Um duplicated names so we probably want to remove them no oh, i have to do a uh... so you see now we can just basically filter by whatever we want oh my god it's complaining about the the, the keys yeah okay So to get rid of the duplicates, you just need to do this. Uh, you need to create a set, but I'm sure you've done the algorithms before, right? New set from this. So this will create a set where every, because sets cannot have duplicated values, right? So then array from, and then that's about it. This will fix it. I think it will fix it, right? So you should not have any duplicates now. Yeah, there are no duplicates. And of course, you want to make it more user friendly, so um, sort basically. That's like, I think that's like the best way to do it. So now it's alphabetical. And all is Gucci, you know? Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.